Okay, team, let's talk about phonics and add in systematic and explicit phonics instruction. And I want to start with this idea of systematic phonics. That's this, uh, that's going to be the first idea that we're going to talk about. Uh, so let's think about it. What exactly is systematic phonics? Systematic phonics. So this is part of that systematic explicit phonics piece. When we say systematic phonics, there's a definition here. And I actually, I, sh I should disappear. <laughs> Let me disappear real quick so you can read it to yourself. Take a moment now, read this to yourself. I'm gonna reappear. You can pause and go back and read it. But basically systematic phonics is when, as we teach phonics, we go from the most basic concepts in phonics to the most advanced. So if I go back a, a couple slides here, you know, we would be working with basic CVC words first in the decoding process and, and make sure the student knows the alphabetical principle. And as they expand, we'll teach them blends. And then as we get a little further along, maybe we'll do some constant diagraphs, uh, maybe vowel diagraphs and expand out to trigraphs and diphthongs and, and other phonics rules. So with systematic phonics, think of it as you're always starting with the most basic phonics rules first and expanding out, getting increasingly, it says here, increasingly more complex um, uh, with, with the units of phonics, with, with each new phonics pattern, okay? Here's a picture with systematic phonics here. It starts with the basic stuff, so we have consonants and short vowels, and then it gets a little harder. So this is an example of systematic phonics, where we go from beginning to advance in that progression. Okay. So now we know what systematic phonics is, go, teaching that basic phonics rules, and as we progress, getting more and more advanced. So more and more advanced, we'd start with like CVC words, then we'd add on like uh, blends and diagraphs, things like that, a little harder. Uh, here we have a blend, here we have a diagraph, here we have a blend, here we have a, a, a I guess that would be considered a diagraph, but two constants that make one sound. Uh, here we then we get a little harder. Harder still would be like uh, diphthongs and vowel diagraphs, a little harder. So um, so these are all going to be part of that progression.